This is part four of our video series on mass. Today we talk about preparation for mass. So after you have dipped your hand in holy water, genuflected, and entered the pew, it's time to prepare to enter into the holy celebration of the mass. Three things that I'd like to mention. Four things that I'd like to mention. <laughs> Thing one, you're allowed to arrive early to Mass. Some people don't know that. You can come early. It's a beautiful thing to do. Thing two, it's a beautiful thing when you come early to have a minute or two or three or five or ten to pray before Mass. To begin to pray, I encourage you to kneel down and to take three deep, deep breaths. Then you can pray this prayer or a prayer like it. This is a prayer of a prayer before Mass by St. Thomas Aquinas. Almighty and ever-living God, I draw near to the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come sick to the physician of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the light of eternal brightness, poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings and Lord of lords, with such reverence and, and humility, such contrition and devotion, such purity and faith, such resolve and determination as may secure my soul's salvation. Grant, as I may receive not only the visible sign of the Lord's body and blood, but also all the reality and the power of the sacrament. It continues from there. It's an extremely beautiful prayer, and there are many others like it. But this is just a, one example of a prayer that we can pray as we prepare ourselves to be participants in the holy celebration of the Mass. The fourth thing that I'll mention is to form an intention in the Mass. We'll have occasion to talk about this later on in our video series, but it's really beautiful to have an intention to offer something of yourself or to ask God for some particular grace or to give God something in the Holy Mass. And that's a beautiful thing to do at the beginning of the Mass as well. All priests do this, um, and each of the faithful, because they join their own lives, their own hearts, their own minds, their own selves to the Mass, are given the occasion to have their own kind of intention that they bring to the Mass as well. We'll talk with you next week.